Hey there guys, Keeper Colin here with the Montgomery Zoo and Man Wildlife Learning Museum again. Uh, we're here celebrating Antelope Month. So a lot of people don't realize when they come here, uh, the Keeper staff, we celebrate a lot of things. We celebrate pretty much any day that we can uh, that helps celebrate or educate about our animals. So August is actually Antelope Month. Uh, we're going to have a number of different keepers talk to you guys this month about a bunch of our different antelope species, including the majority of our African uh, hoof stock, as well as some of our antelope that are over on Asia. Uh, right now, I'm going to talk to you about this little guy who's right behind me. His name is Vlad. He is one of our blue dikers. He was born here. Uh, and despite how small he looks, he's actually fully grown. These guys are one of the smallest antelope in the world. Uh, now they are one of about 20 different diker species. Uh, and diker are found all throughout Africa, usually in sub-Saharan uh, forested areas of Africa. Uh, and they aren't all this small. Some of them get pretty, pretty big. Some of them are about the size of like a German shepherd dog. Uh, now these guys, like I said, they are found in the forested regions of Africa, mostly throughout southern, uh, excuse me, uh, western, central, and southern Africa. Uh, these guys, like I said, uh, they're found in the sub-Saharan parts, so they are found in the more tropical regions where you're going to see a lot of tree life, a lot of shrubbery, and a lot of fruit. So these guys, uh, they actually got their name, the diker, from a Dutch word that means, uh, roughly translates to a diver. And so Dutch uh, settlers going through Africa, they would see these little antelope diving through the bushes and the trees uh, while they were going through the wilds of Africa. And they would call it the diker because they was just diving through, uh, through this plant life. And that's actually how they get away from their predators. Uh, now, a lot of people don't realize uh, they would see something as small as this. They're like, yeah, it's probably nothing really eats that because it's too small. Well, they do have a number of predators, leopards being their, uh, their most common predator. But they are also hunted for what's called bush meat. So people will actually go out into the forest and they will hunt these guys uh, because they are just abundant. They're very abundant. I believe they are considered uh, near threatened by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. Uh, and that is because of that human wildlife conflict uh, where we are fragmenting their habitat, which basically means uh, we're breaking their habitat into a bunch of different places. Uh, also deforestation, but mostly that bushmeat is what is uh, their biggest conservation worry. Uh, that said, they have had a pretty stable population for the last couple decades, uh, and we're hoping to see their numbers continue to rise as well as the numbers of the other diker species. Now that's about it for Vlad. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for our other videos about all of our other exciting antelope. Uh, from, from me and the rest of us here at the Montgomery Zoo and Man Wildlife Learning Museum, happy Antelope Month.